Did you start it? Yeah, I started. All right. We just missed some great conversation. <laughs> All right. Um, we have, like, what, two weeks before we move in? Or, like, three weeks? Three weeks before we get to the house. Um, It's January 20th. For those of you out there who thought I would never buy a house, or, well, probably thought Anna would, but a lot of people didn't think I ever would want to. Really? Why? Yeah, because I don't spend my money, and everyone just rides my <laughs> ass because I don't. It's two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Mm-hmm. We close on it. Did the, the appraiser comes this? I let them in on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I got some love hate with that because mm-hmm. there's a lot of shit still in there. I think they're still going to know how to do their job. You know, like, if I walked into a place and it was all cluttered, I wouldn't have a good at first impression, and that might ride with me the rest. You know, like, Say I I introduce myself to you and we're like we're vibing really well mm-hmm. right when we start and then all of a sudden we have the meeting and we got to discuss some important topics. You're probably gonna feel better about who I am as a person or whatever from them few minutes we had before that, like because you had that good first impression. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm worried about when they walk into the house. Your appraiser? Yeah, they're gonna walk in. It's full of tons and tons of stuff from <laughs> when her when her grandma lived there. No, like they're working on cleaning it out, but it's been months. And, like they're finally this past weekend, they're like, "Oh, maybe we should." Uh, um, no, they cleaned out the garage attic, so it wasn't even. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. So they didn't even clean out. Not the house. Oh, so they cleaned out the attic, which <laughs> there's tons of shit in there too. But at least you can't see it unless you climb up the stairs. So now there's like, I mean, there's there's. I just I can't even explain how much clutter there is. There's just things it's everywhere. Not like, that yes, bad. there is. Okay, no. okay. You're making it sound like it's a hoarder. House. I know it's it, not a hoarder house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you, have if you it's seen not, hoarders? have yes, you seen it? I have, but okay, it's not that bad. You do know my dad, so, right? So imagine the way, like, <laughs> okay, so there's tons of things in the house, but instead of just leaving them where they were, you know, so it looked kind of organized, it's all just pulled out in boxes and just set on like not even really neatly put in boxes like if there's like paperwork all the paperwork's together and it's just sitting on the table if there's pictures there's a hundred pictures sitting on this little stool or whatever if there's a chair there's 15 chairs stacked up in the living room they're all like so what are you worried about i'm worried about him like coming in seeing all this stuff you can't really see the house you're not seeing the property it's not that bad yes it is you're seeing all these other things. So what I'm worried about is like when you first gonna walk, miss something. when you first walk in, you're just going to see the garage and it's going to look like a, like it's a two car garage. Like it could be decent. He's just like, worried that the appraiser is not going to see the potential or just what house. it even is. I think they're just going to see it's, all this stuff and be like, ah, uh, you know, like, like they had a bad first impression and then they're just going to be looking at little things and nitpick it versus like, Oh, it's cleaned up. Like, eh, there's a little issue here, but oh well. Like your bank's appraiser or your personal appraiser? The My bank. lender appraiser, yeah. yeah. Oh, they they rarely ever turn it down. And no, 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 I'm not worried about it being turned down. I want it to be appraised at the highest value possible. So that way when we take the equity out of it, we're going to do it by percentage. Yeah. That way when we take equity out, we're taking the smallest chunk, the smallest percentage that we have to. I don't think they're going to look at... Th- it's messy, and they're going to downgrade yeah. you for I it. I think it, even like a couple thousand that. dollars is what I'm worried about. But Yeah, but that's so minimal. Yeah, but it's they've, not in a way. Like I, The payment isn't they, what I care about. They are, might, they might, but I don't. Are you even sure that they're going to give us a number, or are they just going to say, oh, it's worth that loan amount, so you're good to go? No, they'll give, they'll give us a number. They're gonna say okay. because they didn't if give me a know. number. They're they're oh. gonna give they're gonna give her a number because if we ever do want to take equity out of it, which we already told her like we want to, mm-hmm. they they have to they only can give you a certain percentage. Yeah. Like so it'd be like you can only take out twenty percent of the hundred percent that you have value. down. Yeah. And I mean so like I paid four hundred fifty dollars for them to come out, so I would assume that they would wanna give me a number if they're gonna come up with it anyway. Well, they're like, like he said, the biggest thing is just so the loan goes through. Mm-hmm. That's why they do it. Like, oh, it's at least worth the loan amount. But they're also going to give us a number that says it's assessed at this. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. when we oh, want to yeah, take, yeah. when we want to take the equity out of it, they have, they only will give us a certain percentage. So like, 
the example would be if it's a worth if it's appraised it's more than this but if it's appraised at a hundred thousand like it just makes it number simple mm-hmm. you put 20 percent down so now you have twenty thousand into it or whatever they're not going to let you take out the other 80 percent they're only going to let you take out 60 percent mm-hmm. so they, they only do it like they look at the amount of the loan that you have and then the amount you paid on it and then the price, like what it's actually worth. And then they do the percentages off of there. Mm-hmm. Versus like if we paid like, if we had 70,000 down and it was worth a hundred thousand, they might give you a hunt. They might give you up to 80,000 or whatever. And then they only have, what's that? I think you'll be good. <laughs> I know, but it's just like, like the that's littlest their job. Like they, that's all they do is go look at houses. Like they're not gonna be like, oh man, there's some <laughs> stuff laying around. Like yeah, you think it's just down two grand? Then no, you that just, box is out of place. You <laughs> would walk through there and you'd be like, eh, maybe you should be a little nervous. <laughs> no, I think so. <laughs> Your personal appraiser. You're gonna want one of them. Will they do better for you? Yeah, like uh, they we, like they appraise it. And we will when we, it when we do refinance it to take the equity out, which would be like basically as soon as they walk in the damn door. Yeah. Well, I guess you're buying. You like you know who you're buying it from. Yeah. So I guess you wouldn't necessarily need a mm-hmm. personal one. I got one, and that guy like goes with like a fine tooth comb over everything. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. Then how you was it walking into this one? When I walked into this one, I thought it was like pristine mint. Like, well, there's a lot of things like that like they upkept, and like he's like, it's good that this is done. It's good that this is done. Were so they I'm an like, older couple? Yeah. Okay. And obviously, I knew like there was like it's not super modern, and I'd have to do stuff like that. But mm-hmm. yeah. Which that's what you're gonna. He just told me that today. That's what his plan is. He starts remodeling tomorrow. Tomorrow. No, ah, what? Are Actually, you doing? I started it last week. Oh, with the lights? I redid the light. I bought all the stuff for this weekend. What room? Starting with the living room. Because that's where he has the most sex. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Important. Yeah. I wanted to be able to look at a nice ceiling. You know, good Mm -hmm. good first impression. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) You see this? This is where we do it. (laughs) Yeah, I'm just starting with the paint and then all the outlets and the switches and the covers dad was doing that today for mom so she'll my, be happy when my she dad just back. bought uh covers for my mom too wow must be that time of the year <laughs> menards just had that everything in this bag is 15 percent off so i counted all the outlets and all the switches <laughs> in the whole house and filled the whole bag up. <laughs> that's not bad actually we probably I saved five dollars. Wow. We probably should be walking. We should probably be walking. I through. mean, on light switches, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> we got to do a lot. And a nineteen <laughs> cents cover. They're like nineteen cents. <laughs> a piece. Oh, really? Yeah, the white plastic ones. Yeah. 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 Damn, that's not bad. I didn't realize there were so many different kinds, though. We have to do that too. We mm-hmm. have to do everything. Everything you Pretty can possibly much. think of. Mm-hmm. It's all right. It's gonna be intense. I think it sounds fun. You don't have to get it done overnight but that's not how i think he said he wants it done in six months no dude you don't want to do that because you don't want to like rush yourself to where like you want to you're do doing it right a shit job and then you're done no you're we like, won't do that but i know i'll be stressing about it because i want it yeah done. but you will if you're gonna try to redo a whole house in six months and work full time mm-hmm. oh, i'm gonna have ben help he's gonna lay it lay yeah it but down. ben's don't not doubt him. ben's not gonna want to do that all the time either yeah, but he's fucking good at it, so he won't have to worry about it. He was it. asking to yeah, do it. Yeah, he already that. said he'll yeah, come over. Yeah, I was like, oh, heck yeah. I hadn't said, I Not don't, ever. I said, I don't think you realize what you're uh, getting yeah. into. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. So you're starting with the living room, and then. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the kitchen and just like, I just got to paint in here, do the covers, do the countertops, do the. Oh, yeah, the countertops will add a lot. Yeah, and then I want to do the cupboard hardware and then flooring will be last oh you're doing the hardware on like the cabinets and yeah stuff the and cabinets the, yeah just the handles and the hinges mm-hmm. new stove you said new stove hang a microwave hey, we'll over take it. your stove that looks pretty nice i think we have a gas stove right now oh yeah that's what that is i think oh 
No, it's not. No. It's electric. Yeah. Yeah, ours, I'm pretty sure the one at the house is a gas stove, which is probably going to be... It probably used to be used to heat the house. <laughs> and that That's not happening. Dude, I woke up the other night, and it was like 1 a.m. I'm like, it is fucking cold in here. <laughs> I'm like, rolled over, didn't think nothing of it. Wake up at 4, and like, I walked on the floor in, in the kitchen like cold on my bare feet and i'm like <laughs> shivering i'm like why is it like did i leave a window open or like a door open here the fucking thermostat died <gasps> the furnace didn't run for god knows how long <laughs> dude it was so cold i didn't know so that, that cold. could happen yeah like there's a battery. battery there's batteries <laughs> in your thermostat oh my gosh you just wake up <sighs> See your breath. At least it wasn't last it night. Had to five cool. degrees. Oh my oh, gosh. And the next couple of days is so windy. Yeah. It would have been terrible. <laughs> as long as you don't have a basement full of mice, you're in a good house. Yeah. Walk me through that. Cause <laughs> you, you mentioned it a little bit, but is that was as the worst thing that. So far. That. that Were there babies? Yeah. Huh? Go ahead. Were there babies? Oh God. So I closed, got the keys. And immediately came over, and I'm like, well, I just want to, like, sounds weird, but I just want to, like, touch everything and just be like, this is mine. Like, moving out of the apartment, like, where it's like, well, none of this shit's mine. So it's like, I just want to, like, be, like, admire everything that yep. I just bought. Like, it's mine. So then I come in, go in the basement, and there's two mice on the floor. Oh. I'm like, Dead? Alive. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, grabbed a broom, <laughs> killed them. And I'm like, that's not good. How did they get in here? And I'm like, well, maybe they were oh, taking no. stuff out of the out of the basement and left, like, the door open. Because the door, my back door goes right, like, you go straight, and it's right downstairs. Mm -hmm. So maybe they just left the door open and some ran in or something when they moved. Move all my stuff in that weekend and, like, Moving day, me and my cousin were hanging out. I go down there, and I see two mice sticking <laughs> their heads out from, like, the... So, like, where the block ends and then your floor joists, you have, yeah. like, them cubbies. Yep. Seeing a little mouse stick its head out of one, I'm like... I'm kind of a little tuned up, so I'm like, am I just seeing this right now <laughs> that this mouse is looking at me? And all of a sudden, it, like, moved. I'm like, go upstairs. I'm like, dude, I got fucking mice in my basement. I'm like... <laughs> Oh no! So I they didn't disclose this to you. No, yeah, like I called my realtor and she said that unless it's an infestation. Oh. But you saw two on the first day you moved in, like. So, <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I'm like, well, obviously I have to find where they're coming in and where they're bedding, and I gotta plug holes of where oh. they're coming in. So I'm like, I'll buy like twenty traps or like fifty cents a piece at Menards. Like, I'll buy, like, 20 traps. See where they're coming from. And, and I'll like run periodically in. put them throughout the basement. Yeah. And I'll find where they're coming in. Well, that first day, I caught, like, every trap went <gasps> off in the first day. Second day, every trap went off. Like, I am I have no idea. They're all over. 40 mice? 40 mice. There's No, there's probably over 100 in <gasps> a few days. <laughs> you got to be. What did, did you, you call do? again? So I, well, she said that because they're not upstairs, that she's like, there's nothing you can really do. Like, so like, I'm like, what the fuck? So I start like, 100. I start tearing all the insulation out of, out of. If we find, oh, if this we find is mine. mice. <laughs> yeah. if we, we could find mice in there. We don't even know. That's true. We don't know. I started tearing out, out of all the cubbies, I tore all the insulation. Found holes and basically every cubby where the where the block and the like floor footing and yeah. the footing or like the floor joist yeah in. every floor joist there was a crack <gasps> like a they quarter can fit inch through yeah. like the size of your pinky so i took spray foam spray foam the crack shut cut it square once it was dry and then boarded like took like wood and boarded over the top of it and then spray foamed over it again, every single cubby. And oh. this, oh, my kitchen cabinets here is like a three foot overhang outside of the house, so I had to tear out all that insulation. Is there a footing right there? 
No, it's just like just plywood. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. It just overhangs. So right there was probably. Yeah. And then I found some over on that side, like big holes, like I could. So then I talked to my neighbor, and I'm like, "Yeah, I've all these mice." He goes, "Well, it's no wonder. The guy that used to live there was like a animal lover. He said." Not only would he live trap them in the basement, he'd let them go in the backyard. Oh my god. And goodness. he'd feed them and he'd feed the squirrels with uh every morning he'd go out and throw peanuts with the shells. <laughs> feed the squirrels. He said he had so many bird feeders. He said he'd keep like 5 gallon drums of bird feed in the garage. 5 <laughs> gallon like like a 55 gallon drum or like a yeah yeah fifth like the big fucking yeah, the blue, barrels yeah. the blue barrels full of bird seed that's oh. how much he'd go through dude <laughs> and i found like full peanuts dude there's probably mice living in that thing yeah it took me like to get them out of the garage too like they were in took, there oh yeah big time oh my boy. i haven't had i went through the whole house and boarded up and foamed it took me like six months to do it, it took so long Oh my god! All full of insulation on, like it. Oh, it sucked. It yeah, horrible. everywhere, rat, everywhere, rat shit all over downstairs. Well, it would like the basement was clean, like, and they never came upstairs. Well, that's good. That's so weird, but I guess like if they. But could they get knew in, they could get in down there, yeah, and yeah, they were safe. Yeah. <laughs> well, and they had food right outside the. Yeah. That was where they were camping out, and all they had to do was go ten feet, and there was a fifty-five gallon drum sitting in the. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Never, I haven't them. had one in over a year now, so I must have did it right. We had <laughs> we had one on Christmas. We, oh, we were God. sitting there, and the cat was just staring at the garbage. I hate mice. Like, yeah, she was just staring at the garbage, and the mom went to. I missed that part where the cat was staring. Oh yeah, she was just, she just sits in the kitchen by like the like the patio door and just stares, while they were wondering like what the cat was. You know, she was just like staring at it, and then. Mom removed the garbage bag, and she's like, "Looks again, little mouse is running in the bottom of the garbage." So then Ashley and Anna ran over there to like go catch the thing. Well, I was gonna kill it, and Ashley says, "No, let's catch it and let it go." No, dude. And I'm like, "It's a mouse." Yeah, like, I'm like, "Do you know how fast those things are?" <laughs> so then I like stand up. And I'm in the kitchen, like a couple feet from them. They're, like, I'm not like trying to go by this thing, but I'll try to step on it if it's gonna run at me, so it don't climb <laughs> up my leg. And all of a sudden, like after like a minute of playing around by the garbage, like trying to like turn and catch this thing, it runs out, like running right at me. It runs like <laughs> underneath the cabinet and just climbs up in this little like little hole under the cabinet, like where the like t- where the cabinets meet or whatever they never fit like they never finished like this sm- little spot and it went right up in there for like the last well since christmas until this last week the cat literally just sits in the kitchen like all day you never long. got the mouse no got away it's it's living in there dude. monday yeah. morning <laughs> this monday morning so weeks later it's like january 13th or whatever this monday was dead mouse by the back door and like she finally got the thing like it took there's probably another one i was gonna say i think there's more (laughs) they reproduce like every we thought we had a squirrel or something we thought we had a squirrel or something in the one door a squirrel in the house yeah it's what it sounded like it's got to be a rat this bigger than this microphone (laughs) oh i'd freak i would freak we never had like major like mice or rat problems we've We've been seeing rats in the back wood pile by the garage. Oh, yeah. Because the, the mungs or whatever have a a garden. The whole, like, 40 acres next to us is a garden. And now we, like, catch them in the live trap and stuff. Big rats. Rats, like. I don't know if I've ever seen a rat. Like, the size of this 50-ounce water bottle. Somebody came in. They're a- disgusting. And they're yeah. just, like. Ew. They look They scare me even when they're in the cage. Like, Somebody. L- wild rats are huge. They're not, like, the little white. Yeah. Pet. They're like Pet dark rats. gray. Yeah, they look like a squirrel, but Ugh. disgust like even worse. That's than I hate that. I don't even want to think about it. Their tails that. look like fucking beaver tails. If you tails. get them in the house. Oh, no. dude, Adam's house? Oh my. They used to have pigs. Or the, you'd go by the barn. Like you said, hundreds. That's how the freaking barn was. You could look and they would just be running like up crazy rafts. up on the rafters. Oh yeah. Ratatouille. Oh, <laughs> like 
like they look like coons. They'd be so fat from eating all the corn. That's disgusting. It's oh. terrible. And as soon as the pigs were gone, rats were gone. But that I guess that's a normal problem when you have pigs. Rats come with mm-hmm. it. Why would you want pigs? If I knew that there was gonna be a hundred rats in my barn, no way in hell I would. You could just see them running, like when you go in the barn to feed like the, the like pigs or chickens and cows or whatever. Things would just be running through the barn. Oh, I freaking hate them. I hate them. That's just the shower. Mm. <laughs> no, I was preparing myself to see a rat a few weeks ago. Somebody came into Blumkey's and they're like, "There's a rat in your garbage." I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Like a freaking rat in the garbage? In the store? Outside. Oh. But like right outside the store. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. They're like yelling, there's a rat in your garbage. And there's like 10 customers inside. And you're managing this place. Yeah. Like, oh. And I, so I go out there Ryan. and <laughs> it's a mouse. Like literally the size of my pinky. I'm like, are you kidding me? Just sitting in the garbage? Wow, what a rat. <laughs> Get was the it shotgun. by the garbage or? I know it was inside of the garbage. In the bag. In the bag. Hmm. How did she know? I, they must have thrown something away and Dig saw it. In the it. garbage. She just yeah. like peeked in there. Well, like... I, maybe maybe they heard some noise. I don't know. That's what I do when I go to the gas station. <laughs> She's digging through the garbage. What do we have in here? Her bit. Oh no, mice today. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it wasn't a rat, thankfully. I would crap my pants. I hate them. You do hate mice. If we move into this house and there is mice, there there could be. You wouldn't move. There could be because there's one little spot from where they did the addition of the basement where there's like a crawl space to where the old part of the foundation goes. I don't ever remember seeing mice or rats. You were never there long enough. No, we were there a lot. We were there. Try living there. All day for Christmas. I'm setting 100 traps right away. Yeah. As soon as we get there, that's the what hardest we're doing. part is finding where they're coming in. Oh, I have a pretty good idea if they're in there where they're gonna come from. Then you gotta like board it up, like it's like closed or off steel now. Wool. So yeah. I read they a lot like on, that. Huh? They can't chew through it. What can't they chew through? Steel wool. Mm. <laughs> guess I'm buying that in bulk. Secret weapon. <laughs> I guess like in the beep, in the beep. fall is when they come in. Like yeah. you won't see oh, them yeah. in the summer. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, like cold. they can sense heat. Like they. So they go to that. So they'll find the heat, and if you have holes anywhere, like they'll find the hole, and then they'll chew away at where your hole is, until they can get, get through to the heat. Mm. I'm not. And obviously, oh. like food, like bird yeah. feeders, and we're not having those. Throwing out Ew, peanut rude. shells for the. Maybe we'll have one on the What's top of the birds? the top of the hill. Well, we can put them in the other lot, not put them right. <laughs> we next could, to us. we can put I them like three miles watch. from the house. Yeah. <laughs> we can watch it with the binoculars. No, but really, what are wrong, what's wrong with birds? <laughs> they bring mice. Really? Just the feed, just the, the food, feeder? the food that falls to the ground. Tracy has a bird feeder right outside her house, and I've only seen squirrels, and birds, and crows. Well, that's a bird. <laughs> I'll shoot them if they come in the yard. Mice? Squirrel? No, you can't. I, mean, I actually just found my old. I have a pistol, like pellet gun, that act, like shoots the pellets, and it's not CO two. It's like a pump, like yeah. you, it's just one pump, so it act, it's pretty decent. I found that in my little case that I haven't seen in like years because I was just looking at stuff we had to move out, and I'm like, oh, this is perfect. If a squirrel comes in the yard, I won't be able to shoot my <sighs> twenty two because we'll be in town. I can shoot it with this. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Our neighbors probably won't care. They're, they're her dad, like the husband, I guess. Jordan's dad. He's mm-hmm. pretty big into hunting and stuff. Doesn't oh, mean he's into hunting squirrels. I think he'll be all right. I. That'd be cool too to like. We live next to a cemetery. I think there's gonna be squirrels. And mice. <laughs> and ghosts. And ghosts. I know. I've I said think that's that. That's kind of cool. What if our house is haunted? I'd move out. Really? Oh, I'm worried. I, mean, I totally believe in all it that. It depends on what kind of haunted. Like, no, I don't care what it is. Levels. I don't care if they're like r- giving me a sh- shoulder massage. What if no. it's like an ex porn star and it walks around naked all the time? Oh. I can't see it. And, like, that's, or do I get to see what it I is? I don't know. Can ghosts? Sometimes you can see ghosts. Um, 
at that house right outside of Rosendale, Jenny Pilsel would babysit there, and she said that she saw one of the ghosts I fought. I totally think that's a real. You I think that know. is? No. No. I don't think so. I think it is. Nothing's ever happened to me, so until until you experience yeah. something. Yeah, I don't think I've personally. Well, your dad has some pretty wild ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've heard had some. He's them. got a lot. I've He's had some like goofy things, but something I about him like, it just draws him. We've had like our grandfather clock at the house. Mm-hmm. Doesn't work. Like literally doesn't work. There's nothing to make it run. After my grandpa died, thing would just start going off. Like it scared the shit out of my dad. He's like. Somebody put batteries in this thing, or yeah, like, what the heck? Aren't like, the batteries out? Mom's like, like freaking even... out. Yeah, like it just went off, and he's like, "What the heck?" Like our bathroom light started turning on. We we'll just turn on. No one would be. I mean, none of this has happened. Like, prob- literally, like this all happened within like the year or a few months that he passed away. Mm-hmm. And then our living room, like the the lights or whatever. The lights were off. Everybody was in bed. It was like one in the morning, and the freaking bulbs just blew up. They just shattered. It was so weird. That, not to take away from your story, but that happened to my dad when he was driving past his house, and he was the only one living in it, and the upstairs bedroom light was on, and he just, he's like, somebody's in my house, because I didn't leave that light on, and then... He was driving by, and then all of a sudden it went off. He's like, oh, my gosh. Like, somebody's upstairs. They just shut the light off. And turns out he went up there, and the bulb exploded. And it just so happened that he was driving by and saw it explode. But it looked like somebody was in it. That's crazy. Dude, her house her <laughs> house is haunted. Their, her parents' house? Yeah. Definitely. My, my grandpa died in it. It's haunted. But I don't think he's the one haunting it. It, it Maybe not like uh, evil it's, haunt. That's what I mean. It's but just he's like definitely like, hey, I'm here. Nothing's ever. I've lived at my great grandma's house, but she didn't die in it. Yeah, see, I think it had, I think it takes like. My grandma died in the house. Yeah. Moving in. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we're next. You're dude, and we're next. This is what's scary. We're and we're the- next <laughs> to the cemetery where she's buried. <laughs> she's literally going to be like. Oh, just checking on the house. Like, <laughs> I know it. I'm going to be kn- drunk driving home from your house so many <laughs> times. I ain't staying. <laughs> I ain't staying. <laughs> I can't sleep Dude, in my car because it's right I'm, next to the cemetery. I'm nervous. Like, <laughs> no. I'm getting goosebumps now. Like, about... Think about it. You always hear those weird stories. Like, She's just checking on the house. Like, and I don't think she'd love that we're living together if we're not married. She's just like, oh, just making sure everything's okay or like. Or things are gonna happen to me and nothing to her. <laughs> That's what's gonna, gonna happen. Be paranormal activity. Oh, dude, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like loving her and then weird shit's gonna happen to me. <laughs> Only when she's not around, so she won't Stop, believe you. Dude. So oh. she won't believe you, dude. You'll be like, all this shit happened, and she'll just be like, nothing happens to Babe, me. I but whenever she leaves, I want to set cameras leaves. up or something. <laughs> Only if something happens. Let's say something happens. If something happens, I'm gone. It's that simple. I'll get a new house. What if it's one of the ghosts that attaches itself to people? Dude, I know. Like, so then then she's so mad at you that you're living with Anna, that she attaches it to you. So wherever you go, it just follows you. Stop. I think that's called like a demon. Yeah, then it's starting to get evil. Like you, if I did. Grandma wasn't like a witch or something. No, no, very nice. Like opposite of that. Like a saint. Yeah. She was a lunch lady. So I'm worried, like... She loved loved kids. I totally think she's, like, in heaven and stuff, but, like, can her spirit just be, like, just checking on the house, like, making sure you guys are doing okay? Yeah, but see, I don't I don't know if biblically... That they can do that. that. I don't think so. No, and she's definitely in heaven. I don't think heaven is... Yeah, if anybody there, went to like, heaven... There's nobody there, there yet. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, you I don't think, think we're... I don't... Well, it it talks about, like... See, and I'm not great with, like, biblical stuff, but from my understanding, it's like... This is what we should ask Dan. There's not, like, heaven hasn't, like, people aren't there yet. There, it's not open? Like, until, like, the... Until Jesus comes? Yeah, until, like, the resurrection, and he brings everybody back. Like, mm. I, I thought, think. I, I could be definitely wrong. I thought it was just, like, people wrong. living. Once Jesus comes back, then he takes everyone on earth that's ready 
Yeah, but people don't go to heaven until you're judged. So I thought that Can you be judged I thought that God? was all at but once. What about like the stories with like heaven is for real? Like, you ever see that movie? Yeah, I don't know if I believe that because because mm -hmm. of what you're saying right yeah, now. Well, biblically, yeah, it says that, that nobody goes and can come back. And I don't remember. I we're gonna have to look into all this. my biblical now stuff I'm is intrigued. basically me sleeping through church as a kid. <laughs> so you might have missed a <laughs> might have missed some <laughs> yeah, stuff in there. Missed a couple. Of things. I don't know because I think people are in heaven now. Because otherwise, where would they be? I don't think they're in limbo. Purgatory. See, oh, see, That's you're a is. different. You're indifferent. Isn't it? No, we're um, not. We're non-denominational. Well, then I don't think they don't believe in purgatory. Hmm, I don't know. Where did I hear that? Where's maybe that? I just know that. That sounds like Catholic. Maybe I just know that word from that Slayer song. <laughs> <laughs> it's like maybe I'm just raining blood my, or whatever. <laughs> getting all my stuff mixed up. Yeah, that's look okay. at this. They perfectly we made don't, it. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, I should. <laughs> That's one of the things I want to get down though. Is read like the whole Bible all the way through. I try. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. And I just noticed like if you just try to read a little bit at a time, you can't catch the the writings like how it's written. Yeah. You can't follow along well. You have to totally absorb every. You have to like. You have to sit down for a. I would say at least like forty five minutes so you can get into the flow of the reading because if you try just mm -hmm. reading it. The Old Testament. It's not like really just. Hard. It's not like just reading yeah. a book. And it depends on what Bible you have, because I wanted to get a Bible that had like the, like the excerpts and so what you can learn from this passage. But I didn't end up getting that, and I That's got a I have. color, and I wish that I would have got that one. So now it's just really hard to read. That's the one I have. I usually just read the what you can learn. I mean, that's a good start. I know. And then <laughs> I tried reading. I just try, but I don't do it long enough. So I'm not trying hard enough. My dad doesn't read, but during a whole bunch of job interviews, I'll, they would ask, what was the last book you read? And he would say, the Bible, because that was the only book he had read in the last 20 years. <laughs> At least it's not like Cat in the Hat or something. That's true. I don't. <laughs> I would hope you would lie. <laughs> well, I just read my don't. kid cat in the hat. <laughs> yeah, so that's true. Cat in the hat. To myself or <laughs> that's revealing you have a kid. So, <laughs> do you want me to be honest about this? Or? <laughs> what do you want to hear? When you guys asked me to think about what we wanted to talk about tonight, all I could think about was food. Oh, I'm pretty hungry. I know. Where are we gonna eat after this? I, that's what I was trying to figure out, and then you asked me to think about what we were going to talk about, and I couldn't think of anything because I just had food on my mind, and then I was like, well, we could talk about deals, deals on food. Or how good Mahoney's was. Mm. Mahoney's we're not in good. We're not in Oshkosh, though. I know, but we like talking about Dude, it because it's good. Fond du Lac sucks for food. It's mm. all fast food. It's all bar it. food um, and fast food. I'll tell you a deal. Coliseum, if you have the Yelp. I was going to say, app. actually, but it is a bar that – keep going well the yelp app you can get a 20 dollar gift card and only pay ten dollars and coliseum's got good food when we get the house and we set the podcast room up we're getting arms yeah we're getting arms and nice chairs that we can move the arm and toward. a big table oh yeah i already got that set going i got nice things from work i just had to figure out how i'm gonna do it i don't think that'd be a podcast table or you ten, know what? oh yeah nice long like 10 yeah. footer heck That's yeah nice. but yeah. it's not you can't sit on either side. I'm putting two of them. It's a counter. I'm putting two of them together, oh. so it's like four feet wide. It'd you know be what else we should invest in? Oh, keep going. Sorry, I cut you off. No, it'd be like four <laughs> feet wide and like ten feet I'm long. Because then, like, if you wanted to sit down with a bunch of people and like BS around like the table or yeah. what, like play like mm -hmm. games or whatever, you can still do that. You can't play games with the counter where it goes up in the middle. What? No, that you can take that lip off. Oh. Okay. Or I was going to do them upside down and then do like an epoxy on top of them. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to. Yeah. Mm, we're going to have to see what we're gonna, it looks like. Yeah. If it looks like ass, I'm just going <laughs> to get something new and like do something new with it. And then I'll put those out in the garage as like workbenches. I thought of that too. So I'm like, I'm either going to use them or if not, I'll cut them up and it's good, good firewood. 
Gonna no, get we need to somewhere. invest in those. What? Arms. So my back's not sore from trying Arms to... on the chair, and then, the, like, the it clamps to the edge of the table like Rogan has. Like yeah, the, the, ar- the arm. Oh, that's what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. I thought you meant arms on a chair, because that's no, 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 what no. I really want. <laughs> no, I want to get nice... Nice chairs, like office chairs, yeah. which I can probably get With some of them. With arms on them. Yeah, I can yeah. probably get some of them <laughs> from work. And then um, arms, like an, a microphone arm, yes. so we can move it to where we're sitting mm, yep. instead of having to lean forward. That's uh-huh. definitely an investment. After doing a few of these, I would love to have that. Because mm-hmm. you can get that set onto the table or just set in the center stage yeah. of it. And then we can hide all the wires. And, and then we got to do... Um, video we definitely have to start video Mm -hmm. so that's one thing that's coming is video because that's going to help youtube because our youtube the algorithm on there we don't have any like good footage it's just the if you have like some actual role going on that'll help um anyways food deals yeah food deals we've been talking my homies up on here oh you guys go you can use uh the discount code (laughs) matt's balls jaybird (laughs) jaybird 20 you only get two percent off. You get a percent for every inch I have. <laughs> <laughs> Over average. <laughs> Looks like you're getting two percent. Oh, around Fond du Lac though to eat. Nothing. Did you finish your Coliseum? You finished that, right? Yeah. Yeah. The only good spots I like are go up to Jim and Linda's. That's too far. That's way Holy too far. buckets. Oh, I just want, I'm hungry now, like an hour ago now. I, uh, if you're going to like <laughs> a sit down in Fond du Lac is like, mm. if cheap food would Smitty. be like Coliseum. It depends what you want. Or uh, Fat Joe's has a, yeah. Fat Joe's it, has Fat a Joe's has really menu. good food. Yeah, they're kind of like a glorified bar food though. Well, yeah, yeah that's what that I mean. There's still like is. a bar food, but like that's, there's no, there are no good, like Oshkosh has nice places yeah. to go and sit down and eat. Fond du Lac doesn't have good sit down places. Fond du Lac has really good heroin dealers. Ooh. I heard the the you meth should, isn't too bad. Yeah. Yeah. You should um send me their number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for some of that. I mean Oshkosh they have the nice restaurants. Fond du Lac has the, the nice meth. heroin. <laughs> the, the meth isn't as good. I mean it's, it's a give and take. Yeah. You can't have it all <laughs> in one city, Matt. Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like Milwaukee, down by like the river, like going around, around along the river and stuff. There's a lot of nice places to eat, especially in the mm-hmm. summertime. Mm-hmm. Going down there in the summertime, from like five o'clock or whatever after work until literally like bar close if you wanted. You can go to all different places and not to like party out at the bars. There's always places they just go like watch the games and stuff, like mm-hmm. the Brewer games and that. Even by like the Pfizer, they have. Um, they have they'll have like the brewer game on on the big TV. You it's can, a beer gardens. Yeah, you can play bags mm-hmm. and stuff out there. That's a nice right spot. Right by um the punch bowl social. That's a decent mm-hmm. spot too. Expensive drinks. We're but. we're gonna have to take advantage. It's the last summer that Marissa will be in Milwaukee. Beaks in Pewaukee though. That's way different. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we definitely Milwaukee's, have to. Or Marissa's right downtown. Yeah, and you can take the trolley thing or whatever. Yeah, the, what is it called? Um, the red lines in Chicago. That's not it. What do they call it? I call it the trolley. <laughs> yeah, we can go with that. Know. That's all I got. Like the trolley from Mr. Rogers. Trolley. Yes. It takes yeah, you off into the. It. What's it called? The. La make believe. La La Land. No, it's the land of make believe or something. Yeah. The trolley takes you to. Good morning, kids. I'm Mr. Rogers. Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood on SNL. You ever see that? Yes. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> it's Eddie Murphy from like the 80s. <laughs> and it's like a Mr. Rogers set, but it's Mr. Robinson and he's mm-hmm. like in the ghetto. So like it's a play on Mr. <laughs> oh, Rogers, no. but he's Eddie, Eddie Murphy in the ghetto. And like <laughs> he teaches kids how to like steal things. and like. <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> uh, how to live in the you ghetto. You can't have like Saturday Night Live would not thrive like the the 80s version of that and 90s would not thrive in today's world no. people would shut that down uh-huh. so fast we didn't watch saturday night live we watched mad tv oh yeah i remember that the that was messed um, up too though that was a weird with skewer <laughs> that was just a weird <laughs> you ever watch um like comedy central late at night 
there was that purple dog thing and like that old lady coward or the uh-uh. oh courage the cowardly yeah. dog yeah yeah I don't think that get... was a purple dog though I yeah I think that... he was purple I'm gonna have to look into that yeah that old lady she would... Jamie pulled it up Jamie <laughs> that show would scare me sometimes yeah dude it was pretty <laughs> dark sometimes yeah. It was like ten o'clock. You're watching that as oh, a little kid. Oh, he was kid. purple. He was like yeah, a light oh, purple, yeah, light pink old, color. Old chubby lady. Yeah. The old skinny guy with the bibs. Yeah. We would we would watch that. Ed Ed Nettie. Futurama. Ed Ed Nettie. Um. Futurama was big for a while. I remember. I, I had. Know. I had the. A TV in my room with like the antennas on it, like a old <laughs> school like tiny TV. And I used to stay up late, wait for my parents to go to bed, and at eleven, I think it was eleven, then South Park would come on. <laughs> and I had to have been like third or fourth grade, and I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> then you watch some of the old ones, and you're like, "What was I thinking? Shouldn't have been watching that." <laughs> I remember one time you're talking so about the little the little TV. We used to have a little TV that had like an eight inch screen, but you could play a VHS tape in it. And we found up in the we had a drop tile ceiling or whatever, and me and my brother found a. We were probably like eight years old. Well, you were eight. Jordan was the same age. Oh, I was thinking of Isaac. We moved. Okay. We found up in the ceiling tile. So get we've been there for eight years now. Like like. And no one, nobody found this. We found a VHS tape up in the ceiling, and it said "baking muffins," and we we put it in, and it was a freaking porno. <laughs> this chick just getting pounded on this kitchen table or whatever while she was baking <laughs> muffins. We were trying to hide it. Mom found that within like an oh, hour. Within an hour. Oh yeah. Maybe that. Maybe it was hers, and like she noticed it was gone. Yeah. Oh no! They Jack were like, "Where the hell did you get this?" Like it was up in the ceiling. No. <laughs> Otherwise, how would she know to even look for that? They were they were being suspicious. She she knew. She parents knew. know. You when kids are her. doing something naughty, they're like, "Wait." I think it was what maybe. What is going on in the house right now? I think it was hers, and it was <laughs> moved or it was gone, so she knew that you guys found yeah, it. Yeah. What do you think she did with that? I doubt. It's probably she a good away. cooking recipe. Hopefully oh she, yeah. Maybe that's the kind of muffins we've been eating for the last <laughs> couple of years. You Ugh. had any muffins. That's enough. <laughs> Cut it out. So that's where your obsession with the kitchen came along. Kitchen? Yeah, you know. Doing it in the kitchen? Yeah. I don't think I've ever done anything in the <laughs> kitchen. Besides to make good food. I like cooking. I hate cooking, dude. Well, I only like cooking when it's like for fun. I hate cooking when I get home from work and I have to cook. Are you gonna start cooking for my lunches? I if you tonight, do, you want to make some extra and throw. <laughs> <my> <laughs> yeah, <bed? laughs> Jay's coming over tonight. You it's, know, it's maybe Monday. I'll be good at this. Jay's coming over tonight. It's it's Tuesday, babe. Jay's just gonna come over every night. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a crock pot, Jason? Yeah. Um, I'm putting together some freezer meals right now. So we can pull them out for the weeks that we're working on the house. So then I can just throw it in the crock pot and then voila, Cooking you got some food. In the crock pot. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Like Bought good, bulk, healthy food. Bulk chicken. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I can Shrimp. eat a lot of chicken. Lots of veggies. Chicken. She's chicken. I love the crock pot, actually. I'm Dude. so excited. I haven't had my own until now. <laughs> Pete used to throw stuff in the crock pot all the time when we were at school. Freaking loved when it would get done when he wouldn't be at home yet. If he was at football or something, me and Greed or Corey would just pound into that thing. <laughs> he would always eat Pete's food. He'd always put it in the, the big fridge. You know, like everybody had a mini fridge they could put their stuff in, but there's like the main fridge out in our kitchen. Yeah. Well, we would, you'd have to look, we put your always, big stuff out there. Yeah, so we'd always take Pete's stuff. And he would always have a lot of food mm-hmm. left over from like, his mom bringing it. He also would always make like pizza rolls or. Oh, pizza. whenever Pete would get messed up at the bar, so pretty much every weekend. <laughs> He would come home and throw his. Uh, you'd either put a pizza on a pizzazz or cook like 40 pizza rolls throw them in the microwave 
Well, he would always go into his room right after he like put it on there or put him in. And we would come home. Sure enough, we got a whole dinner to ourselves. <laughs> we well, start... he wouldn't come back for him. They'd be cold by the time he found them. Yeah, right? he would be. He would pass out in his bed. <laughs> then when we got home, it was like, oh, Pete cooked us a pizza. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> or we would eat all his pizza rolls, and he would wake up. What the hell? Like, we're like dude, you passed out. <laughs> They're gonna go bad. Oh yeah. Or like if you ordered toppers at the house, like with mm. a bunch of people, and like somebody would fall asleep, you'd always get a little bit extra. Topper sticks, I never knew those were that good. Everyone would talk, talk them up, talk them up. I don't think we ever really ordered them until like junior year, when we had the. We made a, up for it. Apartment. <laughs> oh yeah, because when we had the house senior year, I think we had toppers like every weekend in the first mm. semester. Damn near. Everybody talked up that Polito's in Oshkosh too. That's the I Oshkosh never... spot to go. You don't like it? No, you go to Nico's downstairs next oh, to French's. I've get heard some oh, really good things about Nico's. Yeah, I see a lot oh, of people. So I do good. like Euros, mm. but Ugh. I do like Polito's. And then you got I insomnia don't... cookies next to it. Mm. No, none of that ever hit the spot versus oh. toppers because you would get a full. We'd always use the fifty percent off coupon and go in on it. Or there were different deals. Just eat so much where you're just like, this isn't good. Yeah, and then I wake up and there's usually a couple pieces left over. Had breakfast Mm. in the morning. You have to be the first one up. Yeah, pretty (laughs) pretty much. Usually we always were too, though. I always like to leave. I would always leave bar closed like a little before that, you know, get back before everybody. Had your food ready and yeah, good time. I remember my stealing cups phase. If, oh. I, thought I'm, if I thought I got gypped on a drink, I'd steal the cup. <laughs> we were at club and Pete was bartending. bartending, and he was given like I think Brandon was down there, and I think it was the time Trevor came down, and he's given all the, oh your match buddies, and he'd give it to like the drink for nothing. I'd go up there. And I've met him how many times? Won't give me a fucking deal, so I kept stealing. I stole like <laughs> six cups from him. And I remember coming mm. home from the toad, and I had to swing by cl- club because I threw them all in the bushes. Oh, the, I, the, I walked to your the Miller Light ones or the no, the Miller Light the, ones were like from glasses the glasses, the glass, plastic. like the yeah, glass good one. cups. Fucking and Peter. Yeah, I I stole. I don't know. I threw them all in one bush, and I on the way on the way home, I had to swing by and take my cups. Pick and I up. walked in, and I think Corey was like, <laughs> "What? The Why do you have all these cups?" <laughs> I remember we'd always take the toad cups, I the Miller Light ones. Yeah, I got a few of those too. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, we had a senior year that was like half of our thing was Miller Light cups. The, the um, the big ones, the plastic. Not yeah, the plastic cups. Dude, they had three dollar gulps, and it was like a twenty five ounce beer. Remember those at Toad? Mm-hmm. If you were getting twenty five ounce gulps at Toad, that was like a one o'clock in the morning, and you're still drinking mm-hmm. a big gulp. I remember Craig came down that time, and he got the the strong te- the, the strong, strong island. islands strong oh. island oh yeah that was that was like a full picture of it and he's like oh i don't like it i just fucking slam well, i don't think you're them. supposed to like those <laughs> no they're like made to j- people just drop people yeah. <laughs> like people would be like i had two strong islands dead <laughs> yeah you're not made those aren't like the long islands that are like oh this is really good nope they do something to those things. I think they drug them with something. I don't know. I thought they were good. I think they put like three bottles of codeine in every five mm-hmm. gallons that they make. You you both, I think, got drugged yeah, there. that one night? We got drugged. I was I sweating and all kinds of random Jesus. things. Doing I think some we got crazy. drugged. I have a picture of you guys from that night with the, oh, with the mom. Yeah. Oh, I have that on my phone, too. <laughs> we thought she was attractive for a second. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. She was not even close. I think she was blonde, though. Maybe that's what did it. <laughs> yeah, that maybe it blurred her face out when we just <laughs> saw her hair. I don't know. Maybe we were just messing with her, but... That was the night we pulled, She liked it. We stole the table, the bouncer's yeah. tables, and we drug it out into the... Middle of the dance floor. Yeah. 
first we tried to walk it out the door and they caught us. And yeah, they caught us. We stole the bouncer's table and tried to take it outside. And <laughs> we're like, I can't believe we just got caught for that. Like, <laughs> stupid. Fucker. We should have went out the back. That was the night that you walked in, Jason, <laughs> and went past the bouncer and said, you better check these guys. Yeah. <laughs> I think we talked about that. On here yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then none of us we got 21. I wasn't um, 21. Jarrett in through the back door. I think. Him and Mike. Mike. Yep. And they were like freaking out. That's mm-hmm. how I used to get in. Um, It was right next to the DJ though. So That's how yeah. I used to get in. Back door. Check if the bouncers are looking. Kick the door open. Soup. Slide in. That was a good way to get I in. Can't believe- I can't believe they never had a bouncer back there. You know that. They, the- they did a couple times. Yeah, yeah, but you know the toad was like. Or like throughout yeah. the night. Yeah, if they get in through the back, good for them. Like, <laughs> we'll just let them. They got in trouble so many times for underagers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One time at, I think it was social, they came in to bust that place because they knew there's tons of people. It was either Donnie boys that they were going to get busted or whatever. And Grieve just ran out the back. He's like, cops just running. <laughs> like, he's like, I got the hell out of it. He never got caught. It happened a couple times. Toon City? Toon. Oh, oh my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> got to go back. They got some good shots, though. They, they got like, like dollar, dollar shots? shots, but they're the peanut butter something. Mm. That, Did you have that old lady bartending? I think mm-hmm. she owns it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and her husband that sits at the end of the bar. Yep. Mm-hmm. Talk about a freaking dive bar though. <laughs> if I came through there on like a Friday afternoon for dinner or something, or like you know, I like, hope you don't eat there. No. <laughs> oh, could you imagine walking into that? That th- that place doesn't even have townies. No. That's how terrible the it is. <laughs> bathroom the women's bathroom is disney pr- princess themed yeah and there's a big princess when do you think she did that and like a castle it's pretty wild i gotta pee i do too <laughs> all right we'll, we'll pause it uh, <laughs> um look look up jamie jamie look up the look how many Who's serial jamie? killers are walking around the the world right now that aren't caught Reminds me of Criminal Minds. We've been watching a lot of that. How many serial killers are there in the United States right now? Yeah, that aren't in jail. But though. serial killers means that they've done it more than once. Yeah. Mm. There's probably not going to be that many. I think there's a decent amount That's where, scary. like, where it's like a weird statistic where you likely came across paths with one of them almost every major american city has multiple serial serial killers and multiple uncaught car- serial killers yeah Har- hargrove pegs the current number of active serial killers in the u.s at more than 2,000 <gasps> yeah active serial killers in the u.s How are there? more than so that 2, means they've killed multiple people and they're still out just yeah, active they could be like it could be like somebody's uncle that you think has this great lifestyle, but like is always yeah. around sporting events. But because that's what they do, a lot of them are. They can oh play off goodness. that second life where it's just there. Yeah. But yet they're out just killing people. Wasn't that um, TJ's uncle or something? Wasn't he killed by the mob, or isn't that what they think? I don't. Because he I was definitely know. heard he that. He was some before. sort of. He could do something. He was an engineer, and they wanted him to build something, and he wouldn't. So then they killed you should, him. I should and ask that him. Was you the should conspiracy. ask him because if he has like a yeah. whole, I feel like I've heard that. I think Tyler or Tara told me. That would be insane. Two thousand like, though. No, that was just in one city, right? In the U.S. In the U.S. Oh. That's just the U.S. So they oh, say like, every major. Cow. They say every major city has Head. multiple serial killers. Uh-huh. But there's about so there 2000. could be somebody in Milwaukee. There has been. Dahmer was from Milwaukee. True. I think Ed wasn't Gein, he? Ed Gein was from Wisconsin. Ed Gein was from somewhere up north. Like yeah, my mom's Wausau my mom's something. uncle. They have their woods butted to like uh, butted to where he buried out like thirteen people or something. Really? I think yeah. I I know somebody that would be a serial killer. Who? Me? I, I don't think I should. No, not you. <laughs> she <laughs> She's thinks, looking at me. <laughs> she thinks I will be. No, that person that I sent you a picture of this morning. That's somebody I know. Yeah, I went to school with him. He has oh, actually. Yeah. He, um, yeah, definitely possible. I don't want to say. Don't even say. Don't it. say it. <laughs> Show me the picture so I know who it is. Yeah. Oh, I don't Google. know if I have. Just type it. the name. He'll okay. know right away. All right. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, and he's like with me so yeah it's weird like <laughs> not that, that boy i don't remember. i don't know who that is no uh, really <laughs> <laughs> you see it now yeah that dude used to eat his zits in band class Ew! okay 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 <laughs> oh what man. state has the most serial killers seattle i bet that's you not a is... state dude well okay <laughs> Washington. Yeah, but you know what I meant. They have the deep state in there. Yeah. I think it's. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I politics. Think it's one of the lower populated, honestly. Like. Which state has where? Had? Where did we go? Kansas City. That has a hot. Like, there was somewhere we stopped and we were like, we can't stay here. They have a high. Crime Kansas rate. City. We're like, oh, it's a big city. It should be good. We look the highest crime rate in the city. No, the it was a state. different one though. Hmm. I have the top three here. All right. According to well, this article. Zero. Number one is Alaska. What? See? Low population. What did I Proportional tell you? to its population, oh, Alaska wow. is oh. without a doubt the most popular state wow. with 15.65 serial killings per 1 million Jeez. inhabitants. 51 wow. serial murders took place. 51 serial murders took place in Alaska between 1900 and 2014. More than half of those being between 1980 and 1990. The 80s was a big time. Do you think that was with the mob and all that? Or was that... I wonder why. I wonder if that was because of, like, the economy at the time or if people just... Drugs was pretty big. Mm -hmm. Economy would probably make it a little... Drugs was... The economy was bad, too. Inflation in the 80s. All right, what's the next two? Uh, two is Nevada. Nevada. Hmm. What's the last one? I've never been there. Two is Nevada. Three is Florida. Four is California. I Five could, is Washington. Yeah, California, that's still impressive, though. For To be four on the list with the population that they have. Florida has Miami, right? Miami, yeah. Yeah, probably in the 80s, too. Mm-hmm. Speaking but, of Florida, yeah. I think... I think they're going to have that big boom. Like, in the 80s when Florida, Miami was, like, the huge drug, like, cocaine, cocaine and all that. I think Florida is going to become big again because of all this, the COVID stuff. They they, they were talking about moving um, the New York Stock Exchange to Florida. Mm. I like how we all say, like, what's going on right now in a, in a different way. You say the COVID stuff. I think I say just... You know, everything that's going on right now. <laughs> I just think it's Jason, fucking dumb. Jason, what do you say? I say this video is getting blocked. Yeah. <laughs> you said COVID. Uh, maybe Uh-oh. that's why half of our videos don't go anywhere. It's because <laughs> they got freaking... We say that. I call it the China virus. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from China. The Kung Flu. <laughs> I was like that one. Uh, you got to see these videos that he was showing me earlier. It's one of the, it's your financial guy, right? Yeah. Kurt's, conser- Kurt's conservative cooking. <laughs> he just rips on it. So much stuff. He just finds whatever's big and like politically. And Is he from around here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty from good, though. It's really? Mm-hmm. Does he have a YouTube? No, he just puts it on Facebook. Oh. And then it gets blocked. <laughs> a couple of them got banned, yeah. I uh. guess that's what he told me. The best one is when they had the BLM march, and the video is like the march is starting, and they got the big banner, and he's just he's like, there. He's right on the sidewalk. He's like Donald J. Trump, woo! <laughs> like just going off in this video. Like, Where was that? I don't know. <laughs> Man, I feel like if he was in Milwaukee, he would have. It might have been Milwaukee. Shot. I'd, I don't think he traveled for it. Yeah. Could have been here. Oh, you remember, they had here. all those picketers. And you wanted to yell at them. Picketers? Oh, they had tons of people standing here on by Walgreens and stuff. Oh, yeah. Man, that stuff bothers me, too. Did you see Beak's Snapchat today? Yeah. <laughs> he had, like, this, there's a TikTok or whatever, and it's like, when white girls don't get the recognition after changing their bio to oh. BLM or something, and it's just <laughs> this guy freaking out, like, punching this thing, like, ah! <laughs> 
He always comes up. With that something. was that was. Think of that though. Where did that go? What? The whole movement. What happened to it? Mm. So they obviously got what they wanted. Yeah, you know? It's gone. <laughs> yeah. What did they want? I don't think any of the rights changed, but it's just all of a sudden gone. You know, I hear an ad or whatever once in a while, but you don't see anything about it. Well, you see signs. That's because in Trump's windows. gone. That's all that they wanted. Granted, the people with the movement may have not wanted that, but the media and the people behind starting that whole thing, that's what they wanted. The media turned it so political and started dividing people so fast, and it worked in their in their way so well. I know. When that first happened, I was like, wait, should I be posting a black picture? What is going on? Yeah, and then you Everyone take, a, then you take that step it. back, and you're like, Let's let's really follow this and see yeah. like yeah that's that's the thing people just look at it as at the surface and then they're like and if the the big thing about it was it became ra- racial or whatever so if you don't agree with it you're racist yeah so then boom now they got people divided and like oh you don't believe that oh you're, it's because you're racist no it's not because I'm racist they're once I'll say it again I said it a couple of podcasts ago there's no system in the U S that is designed to to suppress these people yeah there are individuals that are racist but we don't have laws that are like well because of the color of your skin you're not going to be hired today yeah i could I'm, and I, there's things to protect that yeah too. Like, oh there's so tons of things to protect <laughs> it where it's starting to become a shift where it's like people are getting like well if if you're black, I feel like I have to hire you because otherwise you're going to come after me or someone's going to say I'm racist because I didn't hire you. Mm-hmm. I'm not racist, but I do hate people who don't shovel their sidewalks in a promptly <laughs> time. Like, promptly time. I don't think that's Were you tried running out there? No, I went for a walk yesterday and we got them flurries, which is fine. But all of a sudden, you'd hit, a, you'd hit someone that, like, hasn't shoveled almost all year the whole time oh no and you're just like really dude like at least get the sidewalk like you can get the sidewalk Mm -hmm. you're just being lazy it take take you 10 minutes to get the sidewalk they just do the driveway no they just drive over it we don't have to shovel i think it's a fine on the sidewalk supposed to be there is no sidewalk but I think, sense. like, your neighbors have to call you in, and the city has to, like, do something about I bet, it. I bet. Kind of like your lawn. Like Hunter Except probably gets worse. called in. <laughs> He's like, yeah, my neighbor calls me in once in a while. Like, <laughs> you dingus. Yeah. He's like, we're and at, you know this, and they're, you they're at a little, anything. They're at a little battle with each other. He's like, yeah, he's like, the one guy had his trailer or whatever. He was trying to swing it in there, so I parked my truck right there so he couldn't get in there. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently the guy's a dick, so they just go back and forth. I can only imagine that Hunter doesn't help the situation. <laughs> Sorry, Hunter. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Parking the truck there probably that doesn't, doesn't sound doesn't like help it helped. <laughs> you should um, shovel your sidewalks. Yeah, shovel your fucking sidewalk. <laughs> I was pissed at how many. I walked literally around the block. And how many people don't, like, haven't shoveled? Oh, yeah. Or, like, have their sump pump run, like, right to the sidewalk, <laughs> and then it ices over, <laughs> and I'm trying to walk and almost break my neck. Oh. And I'm 24. Yeah, good thing you're not running. Like, what yeah. is, like, you see, most people that walk are, like, older, like, yeah. 60s. Like, mm-hmm. it takes, you, you have feel, to wear ice cleats. If you're that lazy that you can't take 10 minutes to shovel at least your sidewalk, you can't spend $5 on a bag of salt and salt it. <laughs> Like, mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of people that are like that, though. <laughs> I could see that. Mm-hmm. Right, anybody else have a hot topic before we close this one out until Sunday, probably? Food. food. Yeah, I'm hungry. That's why I'm kind of like. <laughs> we where are we gonna get food? Let's let's close it with that. Best spot to get food or what you're craving right now? Okay. Hmm. And then we'll see what Jason, we. Jason, are you eating or you have something here? Uh, no, I'm. He's ate, a, he's ate a lot of ass the last couple of oh, days. Okay, so. yeah, you could definitely deserve to eat more then. Hmm, what do we want? I know what you want. What? Panda. Ooh. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say Popeyes because I was thinking Panda. Mm, Popeyes. Why did you want me to say Popeyes then? Because I th- thought I would be able to trick you. Like, oh, we had Panda last time, so maybe. You didn't have Panda. I got you a few Doba. Doba, Doba was fire. This one's on you. Fuck. <laughs> 
Panda hmm. sounds nice. I think panda too. That's chicken cool. teriyaki. Orange chicken. All right. Jay, okay. awesome. you wrap it. her up. Shovel your sidewalks. Shovel your fucking sidewalk. Driveway. Lazy bastard. Get some salt so this old man doesn't break an ankle. And keep the mice out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. And the ghosts <laughs> in your new house. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Yes. All right. Is. Well, see you guys on Sunday. <laughs>